Greetings everyone. Today it's a bit of a twofold uh, day. I'm going to tell you a little story. But I'm also going to ask you a question. And that will come at the end. One day there was a, a farmer in the hills of Northumberland. And a winter was coming. And he'd done his work for the day. And on his way back by the side of the road, he seen a snake. And the snake was starting to freeze it. It should have been hibernating, but it was, you know, late for hibernation. So it was starting to freeze. Um, and it just didn't have the energy. So the farmer thought, well, you know, all summer long, the snake has kept the rat population down, saved me crops. If I wanted to do the same next year, maybe it would be good to help him. So the farmer picked up the snake, wrapped it up in his coat, and took it home. Now, when he got home with the snake, he put it in a box with a lock on, so he didn't get out, and he put him near the fire. And in the middle of the night, he heard the snake, and the snake was calling for him. He says, let me out so I can get it closer to the fire. And the farmer went, no, you know, you're a snake. I don't want you loose in the house. You'll, I've got children, you know, you, you'll bite with. And the snake says, no, no, no. He says, you've been good to me. He says, you've been really good to me. He says, let us out so I can lie next to the fire. And I, I promise I won't, I won't bite anyone. You know, I won't kill anything. I won't bite anyone. So the farmer thought, well, he has been a, a good, a good local snake. Um, yeah, I, I think, I think I'll, I can trust him. You know, he's never came in the house before. He's never bit anyone. He's just kept the rats down. So he opened the box and took the snake out and set the snake down by the fire. And just as he set the snake down, the snake bit him, poisoned him. So he pulled up his axe and he pinned the snake down and he's about to chop its head off. And he says, why did you do that? You know that for you biting me, it's going to kill me. He says, but it's going to take a while. You knew I would kill you for doing it. Why did you do it? You've ended both the lives. And the snake turned around and said, I'm a snake. It's what we do. And the story of that is, you know, you have a lot of people that are con men and thieves around. And just because they give you the word that they're not going to try and con you or steal from you, doesn't change the fact that that's the nature. Okay. Now then, on the subject of snakes, everyone knows the story of Ragnar Lossbrook and how eventually he was killed by being thrown in a snake pit. How many of you know what type of snake it was? There was only one type of snake in the snake pit. How many of you know what type of snake it was? Okay, keep your answers to yourself until a few more people have uh, seen this and then post your answer. Okay, then. thanks everyone for paying attention and listening to the end. Uh, not many people do that because I'm going to be boring. Okay, then. May the old gods bless you and look after you and keep you all safe. Heal tear, heal it. Thank you.